everybody. Welcome back. My name is Hunter. So today we're going to be talking about stippling. Now stippling is simply uh, making little dots or marks in a material. In our case we're using skulls, okay, um, in order to highlight or accentuate the area around it. Generally speaking, the stippling itself is not the focus. It's to bring out the a a design or whatever you're stippling around in order to highlight that. I'll show you an example. My most recent uh, carving I did is this one. You can see I stippled, stippled around the star and it just highlights, it puts the focus on the design, the star. And another example which I'm sure you've seen already but is where I stippled around this uh, snake and the stars. So what we're going to use today is this little guy. I stained him with turquoise just so that you can hopefully better see when I'm uh, carving how it works. And I'll go through which burrs I'm going to be using. And to do all this, I'm using a Dremel 4000. All right, let's get started. First burr I'm going to use is a 107. These are just basically placed, the little divots are just right beside each other. I'm just carving them right beside each other. Now another option to do for a different look is to essentially stack uh, the little divots. So I'll show you that next. Again, this is a um, 107, I think it's called a high speed cutting burr. And uh, one other thing to keep in mind is with these specifically from Dremel, um, you're going to want to hold it at a uh, to the side. If you go straight on into the bone, um, the very tip of this is uh, not exactly sharp. Um, so you're going to want to hold it at an angle and then cut into it. So this is more of a traditional look for stippling. This um, kind of in the case of the skull I showed you at the beginning with the star, I used more of a side-by-side -side stipple. Next up, we are going to do a 106 carving burr and do some stippling with that. Okay, just to review, got number seven, 
number seven stacked, number six, uh, 106, number 106 stacked, and then we're going to do a number 105 and then stack that as well. Seven, one oh six, and one oh five. Probably the most that I use is one oh five, um, and I'll just depending on what you're going for, either of these uh, will work. Um, and generally speaking, I apply a stain after the fact, so I don't stain it and then do this. Um, the last. Um, Kind of technique I'm going to show you as far as stippling goes is using a cylinder shaped burr. Now this is a 111. You can use something larger to get a different effect. Um, but I'm going to do this more in uh, lines and you'll see how it turns out. It's almost uh, similar to fish scales but not cylinder shaped burr, number 111. Did not do that great of a job, I was just kind of trying to get through it, but uh, you get the idea. Now the last step is to lightly sand it. That will take off the, um, the ridges, or just smooth them down a bit, um, and once you do it you'll see that it's, it looks just much better when it's just lightly sanded to knock all the roughness off. Probably not the best idea that I stain this beforehand. Um, not sure it really helped to show what I'm trying to do here. Um, but we're just going to lightly sand it. I'm using 400 grit sandpaper. It's hard to tell, but uh, sanding it down just, like I said, takes off the um, the peaks and the rough edges and makes the stippling more uh, noticeable a little bit. So, that's that. Okay, I hope you learned something. Uh, the best way is just to try it yourself. Like I said, I use 107, 106, and 105 carving burrs. Get yourself a skull and start carving. Um, as far as staining goes, uh, in relation to the, the stippling, you're just going to have to play with it yourself. Um, I'll generally do the stippling, apply a stain, and then uh, when you sand it down, that'll help uh, make the ridges lighter and then the valleys stay dark. So then you get a really cool pattern. But Try it out yourself. Uh, please subscribe and I'll be coming out with some more videos on different carving techniques with skulls. Thanks. Hey everybody, I just wanted to say uh, I am on Facebook and Instagram as well. 
Um, Instagram is my own work, so I post progress pics uh, every single day. And Facebook is my own work plus the work of other carvers. I am by no means the only person who carves skulls. Uh, there's lots of other people out there, so if you want to get some uh, cool ideas, check out my Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. Anyhow, uh, Hannah Gardner left a five-star review on my Facebook page. She said, great page, lots of inspirational ideas and helpful tips. Keep it up. Thanks, Hannah. I appreciate hearing from you guys. And uh, head on over to my Facebook page. Look me up on Instagram, at USSkullHunter, and check it out. Thanks.